Tara. What? Should I take all this or no? Uh, yeah, you can take it all. Are you sure? Do other people need some? Okay, Pipes. What are we doing today? Do you know? We're going on the airplane. Yeah, do you know what city we're going to go to today? We're in San Francisco. We're going to, we're going to San Francisco. Then we're going to get on another plane. And then we're going to go to London. And then sleep there and then, 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 then do that, yeah. Hey guys, it is the big day. We are embarking on a crazy adventure. So we're staying the night in San Francisco because we didn't want to risk like having flights delayed and then miss our international flight. One crazy part about this whole time in our lives is that we're actually leaving Utah. We are moving away from Utah the same time that we're embarking on this crazy trip. Zach has a job at Amazon, whose headquarters are in Seattle. So we have a home in Seattle waiting for us. So. We're gonna leave Provo, Utah. We're gonna go to Europe for a month with our three kids. And then we're gonna end up in Seattle. Hey guys, so if you're confused, I don't blame you. I haven't really explained what we're doing this summer yet to you guys. And so I thought I would just take a moment before we jump into this trip to explain what the heck we're doing, why we made the decisions that we made, and where we're gonna be going. Where do we start? So at the beginning of the year, we started the last semester of Zach's school um, and we started thinking about vacations, where we wanted to go on vacation, if we wanted to go just on a couple's vacation, bring the kids, friends. Or um, if we even wanted to do one at all. Yeah, anyway, we found out that Zach's start date for work was in July and he's ended school in April. And so we, would, we had all of May, all of June, and half of July with nothing to do. So we decided that we wanted to go to Europe because that's, Zach had never been there. I wanted to go back and you know, I, I went there like nine years ago, 10 years ago. So once we decided that, the decision came, what do we do with the kids? We have three kids, six, four, and one. The reason we decided to bring them with us, here's the reason why we, we decided to bring our kids with us. Some people thought we were crazy. Yeah, when we told people we were going to going to bring the kids with us to Europe for a month. They're like, you guys are brave. What yeah. they really meant is you guys are stupid. Yeah. This is how we thought of it. We thought either we can go just us and leave the kids with my mom or his mom or someone else at home. But if we did that, we'd only be able to go for like a week, a week 10 days, maybe, maybe two weeks tops. I just, I wouldn't feel comfortable being away from them for more than two weeks. The other part of it is when we were in Asia last year, like everywhere we went, even though it was like super cool, it was just like, man, a part of us is missing. We wish the kids could be here and like experiencing this as well. Exactly. And then we thought if we take the kids with us, one, we don't need to worry about babysitter. We don't need to worry about them when they're here. And two, we can stay longer because we have an entire, we have more than a month of time where we can, we can be doing things. And so we thought leave the kids and have a shorter trip, take the kids with us, have a longer trip and we just thought it'd be so fun to have the kids with us. So that's why we made that choice. And we know some people might think that it's like crazy, but also we've decided you have to know your kids. You have to know if your kids can handle the walking, handle the traveling. We did a lot of car driving, we did a lot of trains. If your kids don't travel well, then obviously you wouldn't want to do a trip like this. But for us, we knew that our kids would handle it and they did great. So also a big factor was money. A trip like this costs a lot of money. And I'll just tell you guys right now, Zach got a really great scholarship from school because he worked really hard and he got a lot of money from the scholarship. And we also have some money coming from um, his new job. They have, when you get a nice new job, sometimes they have signing bonuses. And so we got money coming from there. And so we had this bundle of money that we knew we could, you know, we could either save it and be responsible or we could blow it on a fun big trip that would make lots of fun memories for our family. It costs a lot of money. I'm not gonna try and sugarcoat that. It's, I mean, you have three kids with you and two adults and it's just gonna cost money, so. And we do not regret it. We had a lot of fun. It's one of those things where it's a lot of money, but I feel like in six months or even a couple months from now, we're gonna look back and be like, yeah, it was a lot of money and it made, you know, made for a tighter, you know, financial situation for a couple months, but the memories we made and and the experience we had was well worth it. And yeah. A couple months from now, we're not going to care that we yeah spent don't a don't bit have of money. don't have that extra money. You One other thing that was a little bit hard to decide, and a lot of people were critical of us for, was because the kids are so young, they're not really going to be, they're not going to have a lot of memories of this trip. And we know that. We realize that our kids are. I mean, I don't have a lot of memories when I'm even even Porter being six years old, like. 
Like, how many memories do you have of when you're six? Mm -hmm. Not that many. Hopefully, these ones will be impactful and so he'll remember them. But we, we realize that they're not going to re remember a lot of these things, but we will remember it. And honestly, it's almost, it almost kind of sounds kind of selfish. Like, we brought them because we love them and we want them with us. Not because it's, like, fun for them. Like, this wasn't a trip for them. We did things that are fun for kids and things like that. We tried to make it a balance between adult things and kid things. But... Honestly, it was just so that we could stay longer, mm -hmm. we can have them with us and enjoy seeing them experience these things. And to kind of make it a little bit less selfish, like, I mean, kids that age, if, if we weren't in Europe for a month, we would just been, we would have just been in Provo, just sitting around doing, you know, whatever every day. And we did a lot of fun stuff for them. We went, yeah. we went to like, we found a park in every big city we went to that the kids loved playing in, you know, it was like one of the first things we would do and find. And yeah. they had a great time just going down the slides and going across the monkey bars and all that sort of stuff, so. Exactly, yeah, totally. It's not like, it's not like it was like so selfish, but yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a summary and a quick look at like what the heck we're talking about. Um, this is an intro video to our trip. This big, long, month-long trip we did in Europe. So I hope you guys like it, enjoy this travel day vlog, and come back soon for more really fun vlogs from Europe. Okay, here we go. We have three suitcases and three backpacks, and yeah. It's really, really cool. We're excited. Okay, babe, how you feeling? Feeling good. Uh, a little sweaty <laughs> from running around and cleaning everything up last second, but doing good. <laughs> okay, that's it. Porter, what are we doing? What? What are we doing? Stretching. We're stretching out before our flight. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, you need to calm down. This is why we're doing this, I guess. There's a lot of leg room, a lot of room for Bo to get out and like walk around if he needs to. Have high hopes for this flight, you guys. But don't worry, we brought earplugs for all the people around us just in case they need them. We're nice like that. Piper. Smile big. How is the airplane, Piper? Good. Well, what's good about it? Um, I did, I played on your phone again. Yeah, what else? What did you do the whole time? Um, we did the whole time, we just watched movies. No, you didn't. What did you do the whole time? Sleep. You slept. <laughs> the whole time. So I'm really bad about vlogging when I get home from things and I didn't do it when we got to London, but we got there okay, it was great, we had a great time on the flight. It was a, it was a bit of a ways to get from the airport to our Airbnb, but it was okay. It was fun getting there and getting on the underground and figuring it all out. That's just part of the adventure. Um, so we made it to London all right and got to our Airbnb and uh, just hung out there that night because we were so, I was so exhausted from this flight. I didn't really sleep that much. I had a little bit of a rough night with jet lag going on, but it was all good. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to come back and see our future vlogs from our trip. It's going to be really fun. I I'm super excited to share with you guys the adventures we had in Europe. Thanks for watching. See you later. For all
Good job!